Hello. Yes, hello. Good morning. Can I speak to Mr. Anderson, please? Yes, hold on. I'll get him for you. Thank you. Robert, you have a phone for you. Nurse is calling. Yes, it's Mr. John Forsyth from the Mad <laughs> Bun House Hotel. All right. Hello, it's Mr. Anderson. Good morning, Mr. Anderson. Yes. Mr. Robert Anderson. That's correct. You were with us with your, your estate party uh, on the 1st of January, the Millennium Party. That's correct. Um, Mr. Anderson, I'm sorry to phone you at home on a Sunday morning, but um, th th there's quite an urgent matter that's arisen uh, as a result of your, your party. Uh, there was quite a, a lot of vandalism and theft on the night. Vandalism and theft? How do you mean vandalism and theft? Well, uh, the, the toilets were, were left in a, a, an awful mess. Um, some cutlery has gone missing. Uh, there were also a, a number of breakages in your, your, your dining area. What was that? What kind of breakage are you talking about? Well, there was cutlery and glasses, but it, it really has a, added up to quite a lot. And there's also a missing carpet. What do you mean missing carpet? Well, just what I said, Mr. Anderson, a carpet that's gone missing. Whereabouts? Oh, from the hotel. Ah, oh, but whereabouts in the hotel, I mean? Well, from one of the rooms. Well, nobody's been in the rooms. Well, it was your party. No. This is the contact name and the contact number that I have. I'll go up and see the guy and I'll be doing later on the day. Well, can you, can you shed any light on it just now? Do you know anything about I it? I don't know nothing about it. You, you've had a great night. Yeah, I'm sure you have, yes. At our expense. No, I just thought to know. I don't know, you know what you're talking about. Listen, listen. I want my carpet back. I've not got your carpet. Don't swear at me. I don't know nothing about your carpet. Well, what about my cutlery? I don't know nothing about your cutlery either. And the glasses that were smashed. And the toilet that was wrecked. The toilet was a mess when you were in there because there were no it's in the thing. We only wanted to use it. It was, a, it was, a, mess, it was a mess after you used it, no, Mr. No. Anderson. No, no, no. And your tribe who came in and trounced my hotel. I'll be down the day to see you. I'm about to take Well, take a check with you. How do you mean take a check? How, what, what kind of money are you talking about? We're, to, we're talking about £3,000 here, actually, Mr. Robert Anderson. £3,000? You never do all that damage to your hotel. Well, I didn't expect you to admit it, to be honest with you. Well, you I know behave like savages. Eh? You behave like savages. Well, that's not... You, you the big tall guy with the glasses was in there yes, night? Yes, that's right. Now, I have another name on the ticket here, a Mr. Dugan. Dugan. Well, I, 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 I've actually spoken to him this morning, Mr. Anderson. Well, I'm going up to see you. I'm no longer up in my bed. I'm going to be what? called. You what? What? What, what did you say to me just now? I said, I'm no longer up out my bed. I'm, I'm loaded with the cold, but I'll be doing later on. Well, you know, don't, don't bother if you don't feel too well. Don't give me that, smarmy I'll be doing to see you later on. You're not talking to me that out of the phone. I'll see you face to face. Well, just bring, bring the carpet with you. I'm not good. I don't know about a carpet. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, but are you going for the sympathy vote here, telling me that you've got a cold? I'm go Look, don't talk to me out like out of the phone, all right? Mr. Anderson, just before you go... What are, gonna, what are you going to help me do? I'm going to tell you that uh, you're live on the radio and this is Robin Galloway and we got a call today from your mate Jim Dugan. You b this way. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you kill him. I'll kill him. Well, you'll get it back, I'll tell you that. You know? <laughs> he will get it back. <laughs> what did I get for that, but? You got a night out of the Bonnie, no, I don't think I'll bother. <laughs> <laughs>